Barclays have brought me, Kelly Smith, to Aston Villa to meet November Player of the Month, Rachel Daly, and to get some insight into the moments that helped her win the award. So Rach, we're going to be looking through your highlights for November, starting with your goal against Liverpool. Yeah, it was a bit of a tight game. Um, nil nil, I think, up until about 75 or something like that. What are you thinking in that moment when you, there's obviously a lot of time between you, when you put the ball down and you step back? Are you, are you nervous when you take penalties? No, I think probably more so would be in a shootout. Um, I've only missed one, touch wood, and that was <laughs> against Man United in the shootout and it was probably the worst penalty I've ever taken, <laughs> so I deserve to get that one saved. But I think when it comes to in a game, you just got to have ice in your veins, I think. So you kicked off your goals in November with a penalty, but I'm actually more intrigued by this celebration here with Kenza Dali. Uh, can you talk us through that? Yeah, I don't actually know where it came from, to be honest. I can't remember, um, but Maz was dying to get in on our celebration <laughs> from the beginning. So I think that, and the Kenza came up with it. I don't know why she takes a little, tends to take a selfie, but we do it after every goal now. I don't, I don't actually know the full reason, but... It was based on, I think, Maz trying to get in. You have a really good understanding with her on the pitch. She's such a fantastic player. How long does it take you to, to get that connection with, with her or other players in your team? Yeah, Ken, Ken's is a tremendous player. Um, I played with her on loan at West, when I was on loan at West Ham. And I think we built a really good relationship there. I have to say, we build up that relationship in training. We get fuming, we're not on the same team, small side and stuff. <laughs> but she's a winner as well. She's a competitor and, you know, it's, it's nice to have that, like I said, so close to me in the 10 behind me. Let's start with your first goal against Reading. It looks like you were the intended target but it got cleared were you the yeah target? yeah Ken's is always looking for me I think even if she's not supposed <laughs> to she'll try and find me as best she can but um, it was a tactic I think and obviously the ball got cleared you re reposition yourself um, what, what was your thought process there because it was a fantastic delivery by Rachel Corsi yeah. right on your head unbelievable ball it's not really like Corsi to get in these positions really I think as well she's, usually, half. she's <laughs> usually in the box I saw the space that she had I thought you know she probably would but would be delivering from that angle yeah Just unbelievable ball for you. absolutely and there was a gap, I seen the gap pulled off the shoulder of the second centre half and usually I'd probably go near post there with the angle that I was, but I knew the keeper was covering so tried to go the opposite side and, and loop it over her. Yeah, it's just you just peel off and you just find the space. I mean, no one's picking you up, which you think that your goal scoring record that you'd be heavily marked touch tight. Yeah. But just And it was a lose. weird one against Reading because we'd spoke about the positions that I was in and you know, we'd said that they'll probably leave you free and we were all like, Why? Why would they yeah. leave us free? And I did find myself quite free quite a lot. Note to Reading next yeah, time, don't, don't do leave that. daily free <laughs> in the box. <laughs> OK, so this goal isn't as clear cut because it seems like it gets a deflection, but your run just darting at the near post. Did you know that it got def a deflection just as it, when it looks like it would come off Tash Dowie's chest? Yeah, because I knew I didn't make that much contact with it, but um, obviously as a forward, I'm intending for that to go in. But if I can redirect it in any way and hope that someone gets a tap in, then great. But again, you see, I was so free. So I managed to dart across the near post. I was able to get there without being picked up and Kenza gave me the eyes right before saying run to the near. But I didn't actually know it was an own goal to be honest. I thought one of our players had headed it in, celebrating like it's my goal. <laughs> Do you practice that new slide too? <laughs> Do you know what? I actually did one out here at training randomly. I just got a burst of energy and just started <laughs> knee sliding one day. And I was like, I'm going to knee slide when I score one day. In this corner kick here, there's what, five of you centrally tight in a unit. Can you explain the thought process behind that? The aim on this this one was for me to be free on the near post. Um, so I think if, if we're in a crowd, mm. we can kind of block them off. As you can see, we're, we've outnumbered them there and they have to leave one. Not sure why they left the near post runner, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was more like a cluster to see if we can c try and move. So Rach, this is your third goal penalty for your hat trick. Was there any doubt in your mind that that was a penalty? No, not at all. I had a bruise for about three <laughs> weeks on my calf and the biggest dead leg ever. Were you looking for that foul? No, but I was looking to try and slow it down to get other runners in because right. I knew from this angle here I wasn't getting anything from draw the foul. Your angle obviously. was cut down a little bit there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, she did well to recover, to yeah. be fair, but yeah, definite penalty. So this was for the hat-trick. Was there more nerves because you knew it was the third and potentially get the hat-trick, keep the ball? Well, just... <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know if I was going to get the third because I didn't know if the second was going down as mine. So that probably okay. took away a bit of pressure. Yeah. But yeah, again, I think I'm I'm quite confident at the spot and scored against Reading in pre-season in the penalty. So, that you know, there's, there's always added pressure when I think you've already scored past a keeper yeah. in a penalty. But no, I mean, from the spot, I'm pretty confident and I wasn't going to let anyone else take that. 